Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can take a picture that was on your phone or a picture that was on your computer and do this with it. Now this is not a hard thing to do. That's what's so fun about this. It's a great gift for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, really anything. It's a great way to, to make a nice piece that you can put up on the wall. And it's a little bit different. It's not framed. You can do it on a piece of wood or I'll show you in a little bit how he did it on something else. Now, you don't really need anything special for this. You need a picture, you need a piece of wood, and there's a couple other things you're gonna need. But the first thing you'll have to do is get the picture ready. Now what I did was in Photoshop, I went and faded around the edge of the picture to give it that nice faded look onto the piece of wood. Now if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry. I'm gonna show you a way that you can fade that after you put it on the piece of wood really simply. So watch till the end of the video. I'll show you how to do that near the very end. Now, after you do that, you wanna print this out on a laser printer. Now, aside from your image, which you're gonna print on a laser printer, and um, I've only done it with a laser printer, I don't know if it'll work with an inkjet. You can give it a shot. I've heard that you gotta use a laser printer, but you're gonna need your piece of wood and you want it smooth. Um, so if you got a lot of grainy texture, you wanna hit it with a sander and get this smooth so everything has a nice even surface to lay down on. Then we're gonna use water-based brush-on polyurethane. I like to use a foam brush. You can use whatever you want. This just seems to apply it a little bit smoother. And we're gonna go and apply our first coat. Our first coat we're gonna put on and just allow it to dry. All right, we're gonna let that first coat dry. The next thing you wanna do is take your image and make sure your image actually is going to fit on the surface. You might have to resize it again. This looks perfect. One thing to note, if there are words in your image, because when we put it on there, it's gonna be upside down like that, you're gonna to wanna to flip the image in Photoshop mirrored so that way it appears correctly when you put it on that way. So we're gonna take our image, cut it out. So that should look real good on there. Now you notice what I did in my image is I bumped up the contrast a little bit because it does dull out a little bit when you put it on the wood and I also faded around the edge so it should have a nice faded in look to it. Now we're gonna take our foam brush again and put a nice relatively thick coat of the polyurethane on our wood again. And you wanna make sure that the area that you coat is at least as big, if not a little bit bigger than the piece of paper that you've cut out. I'm gonna put a good amount on there because we want it to really soak some of that ink off the paper. So with our polyurethane on there, we're gonna take our piece of paper, lay it on the wood, and then pat it down. You wanna make sure it's on there all the way, coated all the way around, and no portions are sticking up. This will start drawing the ink out of the paper and into the polyurethane. Once it's on there, leave it until it's completely dry. Now you wanna make sure you give this a full 24 hours to dry. You wanna make sure that it's completely dry before you do the next step. And I've seen other people do it with toothbrushes and I'm gonna have a toothbrush here, but we should first attack it with just a paintbrush. We're gonna just use regular water and start painting it on to the paper. You'll notice the paper is gonna immediately here. start taking on that water and going transparent on us. You wanna use a lot of water. You wanna make sure you really get that paper nice and wet. And at this point, the paper may start already sort of flake apart on you. Now you can switch over to a little bit more of an aggressive brush and start trying to get that paper to come off. And you'll see, you don't wanna to go too crazy with it because you don't wanna start removing the picture itself, but just slowly working away at the paper on the outside. Now the key to this is going nice and slow and using a lot of water. Look at that, we're getting close, not quite there yet. If you go too aggressively during this portion of it, you'll start actually taking the image off the wood and you don't want that. Now look, at that. Every time I do one of these, I'm amazed how well this comes out. Now, if you can see, I don't know how well you can see on the camera, there's a little bit of a lip around where our cutout was, and we're gonna take care of that 
but not right now. We're gonna let this thing completely dry of all the water, and then we're going to take care of that little lip and then put one more coating over to protect the whole thing. Now, once you've got all of the paper removed and you've allowed it to dry, it'll start to turn a little bit hazy of a white, and that's okay, don't worry about that. But the one thing you do wanna do is if you have this ridge around the edge, you wanna blend that in with the wood around it. Now, you can do that with steel wool, just by coming in here like this and bringing it down to that same level. Or another technique is you can use a sanding block and very gradually go around that edge and evening up that edge with the level of the wood. It'll basically make that edge disappear. Now this is also an opportunity. Now I faded the photo in Photoshop, but if you didn't do that and you wanna fade the photo out, you can very gently sand into the edge of the photograph itself and give it a nice fade into your wood. So now we're gonna go back in with some more clear polyurethane. And for this top coat, I'm actually gonna be doing it in a gloss instead of a matte. I want this thing to really pop. And you'll notice as soon as I put it on there, that haziness went away in the picture which is exactly what you want. And it will dry looking exactly like that. And for this one, to just make it look a little extra cool and hold together, I'm also gonna clear all the way around the edge here. I'll just make it look a little bit neater once it's dry. And there we go, we're gonna give it a 24 hours to dry and we'll be all done. So we've got two awesome personalized photographs on wood. These are really great, great fun gifts. Uh, it's really, it's one of those kind of neat things that people don't see every day and it's really... So now we've got two great gifts ready to go out tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of stuff you're working on, if you're doing something like this, or if there's something you'd like to see on the channel, I'd love to hear about it. I might just make a video based on your comment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because every subscribe does help out the channel. And I really do appreciate the support. And of course, thanks a lot for watching.